plant who placed me there. Since then, we we're starting our multimodal facility downtown. Uh, I, uh, I don't know how that got missed, but it's uh, on 6th and Central if you want to go see it. it. It's being built right now. Also, we, uh, I'm also a member of I'm a member of the TriPAC Rail Commission, which, all, which actually met last week with the Executive Director of High Speed Rail, and he and I had a discussion about what the alignment would be for Tracy. They started their three-year uh, environmental impact study, which our uh, DES Director, Andrew Malley, is part of that subcommittee, so Tracy does have a connection to that. Uh, I've also met, I'm also the Chairman of the, of the uh, Council of Governments for San Joaquin County, which met, manages the uh, measure K funds. In doing that, my initiative in terms of taking back a project to Washington next year, which Diane Feinstein has asked me to bring back, is to be able to uh, accomplish a high-speed uh, rail corridor between over the Altamont. That will not only allow ACE to go faster now, but it, it will be the beginning of bringing BART to Tracy. parts of our transportation plan. And the transportation plan actually needs to be twofold. We need to make sure that internal to the city that we have a transportation network and that network should consist not only of our buses, our tracers, it should also consist of hiking trails, biking trails. There should be a very rational way to get from one point to another. And that rational method that is established should, of course, be as easy on the environment as possible. We also need to position ourselves so that we are ready to connect with anything external that will help our citizens get from point A to point B if that point is outside the city of Tracy. The state of California had a transportation plan that they've been working on for probably the last seven years and they were running around and having workshops. I belong to an organization called the Interregional um, Partnership, which is five counties, and we had them do a presentation. It showed Tracy as being a hub where there were trains coming through it going in five different directions. Just yesterday, I was in Modesto at the San Joaquin Valley Elected Officials Forum, and the guest speaker there was the State of California Department Director of Transportation. And again, we spoke about transportation. I was there on behalf of the city of Tracy, as was our assistant city manager. We are concerned about transportation. AB 375, we're gonna have to get on top of, otherwise there's a chance we may lose some of our transportation dollars. It is a comprehensive program internal to the city of Tracy, and we have to be ready to accept and connect with anything external to the city of Tracy. We are on transportation. We just have to do it. It's part of the future. Speaking of buildings downtown, we have a follow-up question. Now, once you've dealt with the transportation corridor and have to go to court, where would each of you recommend that the new county courthouse be located? We have, in 2004, met with the judges that the judge that is actually uh, working on that project, and it's his his project, uh, along with the county administrator. We submitted this 100-page report to him to be able to work just on that issue. There's been a lot of talk about us not being on that issue, and that's really quite uh, errant. Uh, I think that, uh, in my mind, the courthouse belongs uh, in Tracy, and it belongs on the Christmas Road property. Use it. Let me just say the reason I don't think it, it should be downtown is because I don't think it, it doesn't fit the vision that I've got for downtown that our uh, that our community has for downtown as expressed in the recent uh, work that we've done on the downtown specific plan through uh, the work that we've been doing over the last two years. 
that uh, any kind of use in a very critical area like our bow tie or our downtown that empties out at five o'clock in the evening and is dead on the weekends isn't compatible to what we really need for downtown. I've been dealing with the officials for some time about where the South County Courthouse is going to go. As a matter of fact, I was up in Stockton and the uh, presiding judge came over to me and he says, hey, we're going to need your help on this, going to need your support. And uh, I told him, fine, no problem. I don't see it down in the bow tie. We don't own any land in the bow tie. The bow tie also has contaminated soil and the cleanup is turning out to be really rather expensive. Other cities that are vying for this, and there are two others that I won't name, have, in fact, one of them has the land that they're offering free. We need to be in a position in order to get that South County Courthouse to put something on the table that is comparable. We do have land at Christman. I do think that a courthouse at that location will be a good mix for the colleges and universities that will go there. I also think that that is enough area on Christman to encompass a South County Service Center so that we've got a number of different things going there that will provide support and synergy for the students that are there. To say that it's going to go in the downtown, I know in a lot of cities you have a courthouse downtown. We're not that kind of city. We don't have a huge geographical center in our city where you put the courthouse here. We basically have two or three streets that cross each other and we have the bow tie. I do not want to deal with the soil cleanup, and I don't think anybody else wants to invest too much money in it. We're looking at what we can do with contaminated soil, and there are quite a few positive things that we can do. I don't think that putting the South County Courthouse will be there. I would love it if we could get consensus in the community so that we can go for it. And Ms. Drives is right. When we found out that a meeting was taking place in town, the presiding judge was there, I called him, I said, dude, what's up? I thought you said you wanted my support. What are you doing? Well, I am glad to hear that finally the incumbents feel that having the South County Courthouse in Tracy is positive because their initial response was that it wasn't. And the fact is, other than the evaluation on the City Council in 2004, they dropped the idea of the South County Courthouse and that was provided, that was information provided by the presiding judge. So the reality is here is that our city has not been pursuing the South County Courthouse. It is good that now they are on board with this project. We can begin the evaluation of how to make that happen. I do believe that the downtown is the best location because it provides an anchor for the downtown businesses to bring people that can support those businesses. We know that those businesses are struggling. The more we move critical development outside of that area and the opportunities that we have, we further damage their ability to be successful. This is a huge jobs generating project. It's important that we get it. And again, I'm glad to see, as I understand all of the council candidates from last night, and now the two incumbents are on board with me to bring this project here. It's the leadership that I provided that put, it, put this on the table, made this a top priority for our city, and that's exactly the kind of job creation project that I will pursue and make